All right, I got Pooh here, also known as Jason. Uh, basically, he got arrested the other night, and the cops uh, beat the living crap out of him. And uh, as you can see, it's not really warranted to uh, attack somebody like this. Uh, why'd you get arrested, Pooh? Well, I was sitting on Fry Street. I had my art workout. You know, I was spanging, like I usually do. And this one cop, Officer Clint Webb, badge number 132, rolled by and told me that I need to put my bullshit up. So I said, what, what are you talking about? And he goes, I've already, he goes, I've already told you about this. And next thing I know, he had one wrist handcuffed and the other wrist not cuffed. Uh, slam me on the cop car, and then next thing I know, we're on, uh, I'm cuffed fully, and we're on the ride to the city jail. Uh, next thing I know, I get to the city jail, and there's these officers over there that were saying something completely different. Um, they didn't even put me in a cell. They just took me in the old abandoned room. Um, next thing I know, I was getting hit. Next thing I know, the ambulance people come. They picked me up, took me to the hospital. Um, arresting officer came up there with his uh, comp troller thing, issued me a citation for alcohol, public intox. Told me if I behaved myself that... I would be left at, at the hospital at Denton Regional if I didn't behave myself that he was going to write me tickets for everything he could and if he could he was going to make make stuff up. So uh, what did they say the reason was they took you in the other room? Uh, they said because I was being um, a hostile inmate and I was being resistant. Were you being resistant at all? Not to, not not to that degree. I just told him I wasn't gonna sign pay. I, I just told him I wasn't gonna sign some paperwork. Did you swing at them or try to attack them in any way? No, they can't. They 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 just came on me from the side, you know. And uh, apparently, from what my father told me, the same thing happened to this guy in New York, and this guy had heart conditions. And when they all attacked him, that he had a heart attack because he was attacked by five cops. I was not attacked by five cops, but at the same time, when these cops got a hold of me, next thing I know, I was looking up and I was being put on a stretcher going to the, uh, going to the hospital. Yeah, I would say that qualifies as excessive force, wouldn't you? Well, I would say that, but the... Were, that, you wearing, were you wearing handcuffs still? Whenever they took you in the other room? When they took me at, when they took me in the other room? I'm not really sure because when the cop banged my head on the cop car and then slammed me in the back, I was in cuffs. But when I was transported to the hospital, I was not in cuffs. I was on a stretcher. So, kind of between having my head slammed in the cop car and, you know, being in between uh, the CDPD and the, jet and, and the hospital, you know, I was already kind of banged up. But what they were trying to arrest me for was not correct. Because, yes, had I had a little bit to drink, yes, I had. Was I, like, straight up completely public intox and acting a fool and threatening people? No, I wasn't. I was just doing my usual norm. And then, on top of that, when the officer that arrested me, the arresting officer, told me I had to go pick my property up from the jail, I went to jail and... The people at the front wouldn't even look at me and my dad. And they're just like, no, you're going to have to wait till Monday to pick up your property. 
So I called up to the jail to the bookend department and talked to an officer. Her name is Sakig. And she said, no, your property is not being admitted as evidence. So she's like, you can pick it up anytime you want. So after me and my pops waiting for about an hour, we went back to the jail and they had a different story. And they said, oh, okay, yeah, you can pick up your property and the officer's going to bring it up to you. Well, the officer that brought it up to me just threw my, basically just threw my property at me and told me, here you go, Mr. Bishop. And um, I had a change purse, a coin purse that said, peace, love, and some change. And they didn't give me that back. Um, that had money in it, but they gave me back the money that was in my wallet at the time. And they told me, here you go, here's your property. So what did the doctors say, like, uh, your your actual injuries are? Have you uh, any, like, fractures in your face or anything? I got a facial contusion and a broken nose. And what about the, the head scrape up there? That's been stitched that, up, that's right? That's facial contusion. Yeah. But they said I also have a broken nose. I have 17 stitches. Um, I had to come back in five to ten days to get the stitches removed. Uh, they said if I come back shortly and the doctor says that uh, the stitches aren't ready to be removed, then I'll have to wait a few days longer. And they told me that um, I shouldn't go back out in the public or whatever or anywhere to the like Fry Street area to try to do anything because they said the same thing might happen again. Are you hoping to be able to press charges against those officers? Yes I am and I got Officer Clint Webb's number. I got his card. I got the citation he issued for me. It's Clint Webb, badge number 132. He's the arresting officer. The other officers at the jail that actually did the damage, they're jailer, they're jailer officers, so I didn't get their info, but I was told by Officer Sakig that I could, and that's all I know. That's all I know from there. All right. I'm just going to get some uh, close-ups of your, of your injuries there. That's what happens when you mess with Denton cops, I guess, huh? It looks like your your left eye is like leaking some pus or something. It's pretty fucked up, man. And they told me that all I could do for the eyes was put a hot rag on my face like four to five times a day take my medication um, they said don't be belligerent to other police officers and I said well I wasn't being belligerent that night I answered the cops question and next thing I know I was being slammed on the hood of a cop car and taken to jail well hopefully everybody watches this and shares this so that people know that this stuff happens and it could happen to you. And uh, do you have any other words for everybody that watches this, Pooh? Only words I got is, is if you're in Denton, the city, watch out for city PD. Not so much the county or UNT or T-Dub. Uh, not so much, you know, Texas State Troopers. But definitely watch out for Denton City Police Department because they're crooked and they think that they can do this to anybody they want to. So hopefully, you know, a little bit of exposure will let people know just how crooked and biased these cops over here are at City PD. And be known that the main areas they frequent is the Square area and the Old Fry Street area. They don't really care about anywhere else, but those areas, if you're there, then 
you know what I'm saying you're subject to maybe this I don't know maybe worse I don't know all right well I guess that's it uh, like I said share this with everybody so they know what's going on in Denton and you know to watch out for yourself and and uh, I don't know what you can really do but you know, and I can, goes I, down let people know and I can also make this comment because of the last couple of years of me traveling around I mean, I've been picked up by the police department in New York City, downtown Manhattan. I've been picked up by the police in Detroit and Ann Arbor. And the, the outcome has never been anything like this. And by the way, they don't feed you good at the hospital either. So if you go to the hospital, don't go to Denton Regional. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for your time, Pooh. Yep.